I want to look at uh, Acts chapter 16. Acts chapter 16. Then came he to Derby and Lystra, and behold, a certain disciple was there named Timotheus, the son of a certain woman, which was a Jewess and believed, but his father was a Greek or Gentile, which was well reported of by the brethren that were at Lystra and Iconium. Him would Paul have to go uh, forth with him and took and circumcised him because of the Jews which were in those quarters. For they knew all that his father was a Greek. And as they went through the cities, they delivered them the decrees for to keep that were ordained of the apostles and elders which were at Jerusalem. And so were the churches established in the faith and increased in number daily. Now when they had gone through out uh, Pergia and the region of Galatia and were forbidden of the Holy Spirit to preach the word in Asia, after they were come to Mysia, they essayed or attempted to go into Bithynia, but the Spirit, that is the Holy Spirit, suffered them not or permitted them not. And they passing by uh, Mysia came down to Troas and a vision appeared to Paul in the night. There stood a man of uh, Macedonia and prayed him, saying, Come over unto Macedonia and help us. And after he had seen the vision, uh, immediately we endeavoured to go into Macedonia assuredly gathering that the Lord had called us for to preach the gospel unto them. Therefore, loosing from uh, Troas, we came with a straight course to Samothracia, and the next day to Neapolis, and from thence or from there to Philippi, which is the chief city of that part of Macedonia and a colony. And we were in that city abiding certain days, and on the Sabbath we went out of the city by a riverside where prayer was wont to be made. In other words, we wanted to have a prayer meeting there. And we sat down and spake unto the women which resorted thither, resorted there. And a certain woman named Lydia, a seller of purple, of the city of Thyatira, which worshipped God, heard us, whose heart the Lord opened, that she attended unto the things which were spoken of Paul. And when she was baptised, and her household, in other words, she believed, and all the household, all the inhabitants of the household believed as well. And then they were baptised, which is the first thing we should do. It's the first step of obedience for the child of God, that they get baptised, that they have go down in the waters of baptism in full immersion, submerged right underneath the water and come back out of the water symbolizing the death, burial, and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ and that you, yourself, have died with Christ as well, signifying something that already took place in your life when you believed on the Lord Jesus Christ the moment you became a child of God. It's just an outward confession of that which has already taken place inwardly in your life when you believed on the Lord Jesus Christ to the salvation of your soul. That's what we need, we all need, set the salvation of our soul. Without that salvation, we're heading down to hell and God does not want you to go down to hell and that's why the Father sent the Son to be the saviour of the world. Is he your saviour? You need to make him yours right now. This is urgent. 
Yes, and she was baptised in her household, and uh, and when she was baptised in her household, she besought us, saying, If ye have judged me to be faithful um, to the Lord, come into my house and abide there. In other words, stay with me. And she constrained us. And it came to pass, as we went to prayer, a certain damsel possessed with the spirit of divination met us. In other words, someone who was demon-possessed met us, which brought her masters much gain by soothsaying. Witchcraft, in other words. The same followed Paul and us and cried, saying, These men are the servants of the Most High God, which show unto us the way of salvation. And this did she many days. But Paul, being grieved, Paul got sick and tired of hearing these words. Not that it wasn't true, but he just got sick of it. Being grieved, turned and said to the Spirit, I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And he came out the same hour. And when her masters saw that the hope of their gains were gone, because they made money out of this uh, uh, young woman here, this girl, uh, yes, and when the, her masters saw that uh, the hope of her, their gains was gone, they caught Paul and Silas and drew them into the marketplace unto the rulers and brought them to the magistrates, to, saying, These men, being Jews, do exceedingly trouble our city and teach customs which are not lawful for us to receive neither to be observed, being Romans. And the multitude arose, sorry, the multitude rose up together against them, and the magistrates rent off their clothes or tore off their clothes and commanded to beat them, in other words, to whip them. And when they had laid many stripes upon them, they cast them into, the pri into prison, charging the jailer to keep them safely who, having received such a charge, thrust them into the inner prison and made their feet fast in the stocks. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God. In other words, they were praying and they were singing hymns to God. And the prisoners heard them, and suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's bands were loosed. And the keeper of the prison, awakening, awaking out of his sleep and seeing the prison doors open, he drew out his sword and would have killed himself. In other words, he wanted to commit suicide right then and there on the spot, supposing that the prisoners had been fled. I mean, if they did, he... the the authorities were going to kill him anyway in the morning once they found out. So he thought, well, I may as well do the job myself. I may as well finish myself off. But that's a bad thing to do that. Because what happens if you go to hell? And this could be your situation. Do not commit suicide, my friend. Don't do it. Because, to use an expression, you'll be going from the frying pan into the fire. You think your life is bad now, so you want to end it by committing suicide. Do not do it. If you do that, the latter end will be worse than what you're in now. In other words, you'll suffer. You'll be suffering and burning in torment in hell if you commit suicide, my friend. Do not do it. You need to come to faith in Christ. There is only hope in faith uh, in Christ. And he's the one that you've got to put your faith in. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. But Paul cried with a loud voice saying, Do thyself no harm, for we are all here. In other words, don't kill yourself, we're all here. Then he called for a light and sprang in and came trembling and fell down before Paul and Silas and brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? He was urgent about this message of salvation. He had to get it right then. He had to be saved from the wrath of God. 
by faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Sirs, what must I do to be saved? I hope you're asking that question right now. And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved, and thy house. And they spake unto him the word of the Lord, and to all that were in his house. And he took them the same hour of the night, and washed their stripes, and was baptized, he and all his straight way. In other words, the jailer and the whole household were saved because they put their faith in Jesus Christ as their saviour. That time when the gospel was preached unto them. I wonder, will you respond to the gospel message now? I wonder how many times have you heard the gospel message, the gospel the whole gospel, which is Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures and that your soul can be saved if you put your faith alone in him for your eternal salvation, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. So again, what do you need to do? Come in repentance toward God, that's a change of mind, Simply agree with God that you are a sinner. Put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your soul be saved because of the finished work of the Lord Jesus Christ and your right response to it. Don't wait another second. This man was baptized in all of his household that same day when they believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. We call it believer's baptism. Then you need to go into the waters of baptism be completely submerged in water, go down into the water and come up out of the water. And that doesn't save you. It just shows the fact that you have been saved. It's your identification to the world that you have been identified with the Lord Jesus Christ in death, burial and resurrection coming up out of the water. Yes, Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. And he was buried. Praise God. He rose again the third day according to the scripture. If you put your faith in him, your soul will be saved. In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. If you're interested in this, look me up. YouTube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. I appreciate that. If you're interested in this, look me up. YouTube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. God bless you. Have a great night.